Naval Group has a strong presence at World Defense Show 2024 here in Riyadh, with the FDI frigate taking the st center stage of the booth. The French shipbuilder is also showcasing the mothership of the RMCM program uh, in Belgium and the Netherlands. Pierre-Éric Pommelé, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. How are you doing? I'm uh, great, thank you. It's uh, great to be here in, in Saudi Arabia. Uh, you are the CEO of Naval Group. So can you please tell us uh, your activities uh, in the country? Okay. So we are in the country since more than 30 years as, uh, as a main supplier for naval forces with uh, frigate programs and supply chain programs that are now in operation in the, in the Saudi Navy. And, and for many years uh, after delivering, we are supporting the fleet, uh, mainly uh, in Jeddah. Uh, and uh, and with some, we have, uh, of course, some office in, uh, here in Riyadh uh, with a, a very strong willingness uh, to bring the, the, the best support we can give to the fleet for uh, operations and availability. And that concerns, if I remember right, so some frigates as part of the Sawari program and some uh, supply vessels? Yes, absolutely. There were uh, two Sawari program, one and two. And at the end of the day, seven frigates and two uh, supply ships uh, that, uh, that we are now supporting uh, with um, more and more uh, localizations, it means more and more Saudi companies that are working with us and uh, Saudi people uh, understanding uh, the strategy of the country, of course, to have more localization of the work with, with a vision to have a huge amount of the work for different programs that is done in country. And I have to say, by finding, I would say almost every day, companies that can help us, that can bring to us competencies, technology, and of course, uh, the uh, efficiency of being local. So, Pierre, yeah, that's the past and present, so to speak. What does the future hold for Naval Group here in Saudi Arabia? Okay, so future, as you say, Xavier, start by present. Uh, for us, the future start by being here, by delivering support, by allowing the Navy to get uh, operations and to have operations. You know, uh, uh, the region is very unsafe, and, and for sure, Saudi uh, needs uh, uh, capacity and, and bring by, by the naval forces. Uh, last year, as an example, we've given uh, support uh, of, of the fleet that was engaged uh, uh, in um, uh, Port Soudan for the evacuation of the people that they've done very brilliantly and, uh, and, and today delivering the support. For us, future starts now uh, by delivering support. Of course, proposing, and uh, you have a, a beautiful image uh, just behind me of what we're proposing for future capacity. Uh, the FDI forget the Bellara is a candidate for future uh, competition here in the country. And, uh, and by uh, being what we are, and by developing the support and localization, we can bring to the project of frigates uh, a very strong commitment that uh, a very important part of the program will be done here. Uh, you're also showcasing uh, next generation vessels, so to speak, even though you will say again it's a current program, but uh, mother ships, uh, that, is that something of the future? Yeah, absolutely, because the, the relation we have with the Navy demonstrates that they are very interested by unmanned operations, the use of drones. They are, nobody is contesting the fact that navals are coming very quickly in the naval domain. And uh, when you use drones, uh, of course, uh, you, you develop a capacity that we can have. As you know, Naval Group is very strongly engaged in, in drone capacity, but also how to operate drones. And um, in, in the mine hunting domain, for example, we have a program today with Belgium, with Netherlands, with, uh, Netherlands, with France that is joining the program. And we're proposing here this concept together with our partner. Uh, Thales, as an example, is very strongly uh, involved in the country. Thales uh, will be uh, supplying uh, some capacity for the, the drone systems in France and we can, with them, propose capacity over here. It's a very important uh, part of our strategy and, of course, uh, continuing uh, discussion in what uh, unmanned can be. You know, unmanned can be surface drones, submarine drones, uh, how to integrate air drones. This is a, a very strong capacity that we're developing here. Pierre-Eric, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Xavier. Yonek Fier, good morning. Good morning, Xavier. You are marketing director for surface ships and combat systems at Naval Group. Uh, we are standing next to the, this nice model of the FDI frigate. 
why do you feel that uh, this design is uh, fully suited to answer the needs of the Royal Saudi Navy? Oh, th thank you for asking me the, this question. Uh, in fact, we have had a strong relationship with the Royal, Royal Saudi Navy uh, for, for quite a, l a lot of years, <clears throat> thanks to the Saudi 1 and 2 uh, programs. Now we perform uh, follow-on support along with our customer, and now we are very proud to present this uh, brand new frigate that is a heritage of the frame success and that uh, really meets all the requirements of the Saudi Navy. Uh, why does it meet uh, these, uh, these, re these requirements? Uh, first, because it embeds in a compact design with a, quite a sm small frigate with a 122 meters long only and only 4,500 tons, quite a lot of capabilities. Cutting edge capabilities regarding anti-air warfare, with a four fixed panel sea fire radar combined with the Aster 30 missile conferring air defense capabilities. Uh, the same cutting edge uh, SW suit uh, as uh, on board the uh, frame frigates that has been uh, uh, awarded the uh, Hukem uh, Excellence Awards for SW by the, the, the US Navy. Uh, that is uh, embedded also on board Bellara with a bow-mounted sonar, variable depth sonar, MU-90 torpedoes, as well as uh, Kanto ISW decoys. But this ship is also a concentrate on, of innovation with embedding at the same time a heavy helicopter like uh, NH-90 or SH-60 along with a UAV uh, fully uh, physically and functionally integrated on board the ship, uh, up to a 700 kilograms uh, UAV, like a VSR uh, 700 of uh, Airbus, for, for example. Uh, the ship also embeds quite a great innovation regarding asymmetric warfare or the ability to counter drones. Uh, thanks to a, a brand new system, uh, centralizing panoramic detection in the visual sphere and the centralized control of non-lethal effectors or remote guns uh, as lethal effectors. Uh, this provides this ship a complementary uh, capability regarding asymmetric warfare and the ability to counter drones or low-level threats. But the most important, uh, this ship is the first digital frigate. Um, uh, we have abundant uh, dedicated cabinets for each system. We have embedded all the applications for both le the platform or the combat system within two data centers. One data center is enough to run the whole warship with virtual, uh, virtualized applications. Uh, the second one is there for redundancy and resilience uh, in, in combat especially. And of course, uh, there's the production line for the FDI is uh, hot with contracts for both the French Navy and the Electric Navy. And there's currently two frigates that have been launched, one for the French Navy and one for the uh, Electric Navy. Yes, the, this ship is really an ongoing program. Currently in Lorient, there are five ships at different stages of production and two being afloat. The first one from, for the French Navy will uh, start sea trials within a few months and uh, will be delivered to the French Navy early 2025. Uh, you mentioned uh, future inno evolutions. Uh, in these regards, uh, there's a pretty interesting uh, artist impression behind you on the poster. It shows a small USV next to the FDI. Uh, does that mean that uh, FDI can act as uh, some kind of mothership for uh, uncrewed systems? In, in the future, surely there will be drones on board, uh, on board our ships. We have already fully integrated the 700 kg UAV on board the ship with a physical and functional integration, perfect seamless integration. Uh, and we, we strive for more integration and of course integrating USVs uh, on board the, this kind of ships uh, that can be uh, also fully uh, physically and functionally integrated. Very well, Yannick. Thank you very much. Thank you.